Welcome to the subterranean hell. So, when you guys hear hell, what do you guys think? Fire, brimstone, get pirates. Oh, but this is a video game. How about water level? Accurate. It did say subterranean. Subterranean usually means underground, though, which would still indicate underwater in a way. Also, we finally have a good yellow soul, and it's really, really good. What? I didn't read it. What did it do? Something about backstabs, I think. May inflict greater damage when enemies are attacked from behind. And, and when it says time. may, it may inflict greater damage, that means, like, double damage. Oh, this means I get our ability to swim right away. Also, welcome to the worst boss in the game. Uh, high freaking. Oh, what was it? C uh, Ceres was the boss? Ceres, yeah. The infusion. This is what he does. He waits underwater. And just. Oh. is there. You freak. So, he's conveniently given us platforms to stand on. It's time to break out the skull archer again. <laughs> oh boy. Gives you time. Oh, he. Uh, all he does okay. is give you time. Uh, Ha! And look at how much health he has! Oh boy. There! Already? Already! No regrets! No mercy! And fight. This is a five minute fight otherwise. Alright, I'll, you know what? I'll take the short version. The abridged version is good. It, yep. The ability to move underwater. So now you became Samus. Goodbye, Rahab. May we forget you forever. Also, that went so well, I'm just going back and saving right away. Yeah. I wouldn't have done Someone that. Someone is but... very used to other things. You... You think this next save point is somewhere nearby, do you? The subterranean no, uh... hell is like the biggest area of the game. It connects to the main castle in four different areas. Oh, uh, so it's like the freaking underground say, also area like back the in the entire Symphony. bottom right corner of the map. Yeah, like two two of the entrances you need Rahab's soul to get to, so we might as well use the one that's right here. And the other two are exits only. Oh joy! Uh, what? And, oh, and it also has an like a completely other area contained inside of it, so. Ah, lovely. It's got a you. It's got it's. Yeah, the biggest area of the game. Welcome to the to the latter half of the midpoint from Retrovania's. I guess Ooh. get those zones oh, that are so fat boy. and full of nothing. <laughs> that fish had a seizure. That's not a fish. It's a it's a cave troll, obviously. It also almost tongued our hero here. Also, we got paella. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, I believe that search is correct because, it, because of its, uh, if it's if it's Hispanic, which I'm pretty sure it is, paella would be correct. I don't know. I'll take your word for it. Fish heads. So the nice thing about the subterranean hell is it like every soul you get here is honestly worth getting. The decorative soul is all right. Mimic. Mimics. 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 The decorated be a soul is all right, but it's also like one of the th things that uh, can upgrade one of the souls that you can fuse into a better spear. So yes, please. Ah. Also, fish head. We'll be seeing right here why that's so good. I'm gonna guess it's a turret. No, oh. you just do that. It's just a good arm. Okay. Pro probably does a lot of damage too. No, but like it lingers. Lingering. It lingers more than you'd expect. Lingering yeah, it looks like something that's a lingering projectile, so you sit it on some enemy that's not moving at all. There you go, yeah. And then also its arc is perfect for this place. Yeah. How dare you turn on those fish. How high is your jump when you're underwater? Like high. Twice as high for books, two or three times even. So, that dead pirate soul, it says extra damage when you're attacking enemies from behind. Yeah, it's... All that... It's... It's generous with how it defines that. All it means is if if your attack connects with the back half of the enemy at all, that counts. Oh. I think it's still like double when that happens, too. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. 
My question is, you know, there's a lot of enemies that's harder to find what they have as a back, like those urchins. Lots of defense, but yeah. we that. Yeah. An enemy actually needs a front and a back for it to work. Yeah. So the game is somewhat smart on that. A little bit. I buffered. Oh, Why don't I remember having all of these close calls? 520, 521. Oh, are you back with us? I I'm good. It was Ben. It was the problem. I'm at 530, so. Yeah, you're you're synced up. You're roughly I, I, good. I pushed it forward a little bit because I had a feeling. Okay. Also, the flying armor is still really good because. It basically keeps it in place here. Yeah. A float is basically, like, always useful. Oh, yeah. yeah. Rusty food hits, on the other hand. Also always useful. You can throw them as a weapon, except you can't do that in this game. You can only try and eat them. On a try and eat... Well, I'm gonna try guess it does metal. damage. Yeah, it... I think it's one of those foods that will hurt you unless you're, like, equipped with... I believe it was the ghoul soul. I which enjoys eat like that soul is just the passive that you enjoy eating the strangest things now. Congrats, you're a gourmet. No, this looks like hell. Rude! Well yeah, it's the subterranean hell. I was gonna say you guessing you can't it's drop in those guys, right? No, they're spiked. I haven't tried. I you might not be able to drop kick underwater, actually, because you just have infinite jumps, so you maybe can never do a double jump. What uh, the hell is that thing? Hello. Procel. Procel? I don't know. I have no idea what it could even be I... based on. Like what kind of that mythology? Did... I'm gonna guess a yokai. Well, a death scream. It's some mythology or another. Yeah. It is some form of either yokai or fey spirit. Nice. Granted, me tossing it out like that's like covered like eh, most mythologies ever. You have, you have covered Castlevania enemies as a whole. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Is it a yokai or is it some European fey? It's one of the two. Yeah. Well, there's a door here. We know what what we have got to do. Are we gonna do it again? Hacker! Doors may not exist. That feels like it was an intentional exploit. I Either it was an intentional so sure. exploit, or it was one of those cases of they saw it and went, eh! Yeah, probably that. They may have just thought, eh, it would be fun. No, we're not heavy enough for that. <laughs> this... Hammer. Yeah, you gotta actually use the hammers. And to hit... That... Like, how sense. high... How high you the ball flies, it depends entirely on the level of hammer you got. Yeah. That but, is not the bell sound you should be using for that. <laughs> but it only gives you potions and, like, better potions, so whatever. N not worth it. Okay. Um, PSA, I'm pretty sure drop kicking Unes is a really bad idea. Don't do that. Yeah, it sounds like a risk to me. Yeah, given it's probably just a giant hitbox, half, that sounds about right. Half the time, they oh, clip good. into you weirdly. Oh, hey, the plant titties! I forgot about this monster. Yep. He's been around for a while. I think this one came around... Was it Zipper the Hunter first, or was it Rondo? I don't remember. Not really that dangerous, it's... honestly, because you just sort of have to stay away, but... Lots of health. Yeah, it sounds about right. They're kind of one of those ch uh, chunkers, chunk enemies. I think they're another soul that's really good. I don't remember quite the details, but... Most of the late game ones, I want to say, are typically pretty good, but that's because they're like, okay, we're going to stop giving you the joke ones and actually give you the tolerably useful ones. Oh, we're still not in late game. I don't know, I don't know why you think that. We're like mid game. I still... But I mean late game, I more mean we're past the beginning points. Uh, fair enough. Now, I know they're both DS games, but when I listen to this game's music, I almost was thinking, like, this era of Mystery Dungeon. I can kind of hear it, yeah. It's the better instruments on the DS. The DS is always hit or miss when it comes to the sound fonts. Yeah. 
a lot of this game is nailed it, honestly. It's yeah. got so many good tracks. I mean, most Castlevanias, I want to say, do nail the soundtrack. Oh, hell yeah. Granted, one of my favorites is Rondo, and that's cheating, because that's just CD audio. <laughs> oh, man, I want to play some Rondo now. Oh. Man. Hey, we oh, finally man. got another of the good souls. Ooh. It's probably one of the more underwhelming ones. You just spit some wander. But, like... Uh, I thought it would have been a constant... Uh, one of those constant ones. Nah, it it's pretty... It's pretty summer. good. Like... But it's pretty quick. It's pretty... It's, yeah, it's quick, it's efficient on MP cost, and... Decent range. And it's also a water element, so... Very rare, yeah. Some enemies are weak to that, that's, that comes in handy. Hello, warp point. We're through, we're through most of the bulk of the subterranean hell by now, I think. I was gonna say, I actually think there's probably a safe one. Probably. Yeah, we're kind of near, I guess, the... The center point of the area. Kind of looks like it. I don't know why I like that screen to just do. That's a generous double damage hitbox on that one. Yeah. Remember, like I said, if it hits the back half of the sprite, sometimes enemies just have the back half of the sprite face. Like, ow. It's probably a case of the sprite is that the hitbox of where it's set up is so thin, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, and that and like she's tilted, so the bottom half of her is the back half of her. Yeah. Of her. So that's yet stuff. another reason the Dead Pirate Soul is just so good in this game. Because yeah, it's just it's pretty much just gives you random crits. Consistent random crits. Like half the time random crits. Yeah, take it. Mini crits even. Who wouldn't take it? Enemies, because they're taking more damage than you. Oh, shove off. They can shove off. 